Welcome back everyone, this is Legion here. Thank you for joining me. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different uh, because I am going to be doing a how-to on our uh, Colosseum base. Uh, as you know, Chilinau and I have been building our base on the Green Tower platform um, to, to make the best use of our space and to make a cool looking base. We're going to be making a circular Colosseum build. Now what I have here is not complete yet because I, as you can see, I'm still missing a lot of adobe parts, adobe, <laughs> and um, we're going to be bringing the walls up, right, for more coverage, but either way, enjoy. Alright guys, so let's get started on the circular base, so this is what I'm thinking. Um, circular bases are not in ARC as far as I know, maybe there are some mods and something, but we're not running any mods on the server, so, um, you know, we're not using a no clip or anything else, and of course, um, wow, look at that go, <laughs> but, uh, the, if you are looking to build on this platform at the green tower, these metal structures here on the floor, um, get in the way of building. You cannot build certain things on these. They will block your building. Um, so there is a way around that with certain items that you build. So what I'm looking to do is make a full circular structure, um, but also make a place for us to hide out in the storm, have places that we can have craft crafting stations, um, as well as um, an area in the center where we can put all of our communal dinos for now. Um, but since we've been here, that little hut hasn't, cu uh, you know, won't cut it, um, and we have no place to really park our dinos in safety. So let me get started on this. <laughs> While my dog defends me, and uh, let's get started. Let's go. Okay, so one of these, the fence foundations. As you see, it is blocked right there, but there's certain spots where it is not blocked. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is um, build it so of course it's not blocked, but also I want it to be a complete room when I'm done. When you're building, what I find to be the best is um, not third person, not first person, it's actually to put it right underneath you. When you put it underneath you, press K button to go into third person view where you can move around and that's actually the best way to um, that I find to place items especially when it's right underneath you because then you can walk and place it anywhere you want so what I'm gonna try to do is get it as close to where I can um, out so I can have the largest base possible on the inside um, and also have it enough past this point see if I go further here it's blocked but enough so that I can place and build a wall and I'll show you that in a second so right now it's fairly decent I do want to move it to the right just like that perhaps okay so I want to place one of these on each one just so I can get those uh, started but this is what I'm looking to do So this um, structure says it can't be placed here um, because I did it too close. So let's remove that. Also you'll see me building with thatch first because you can always build with thatch and then replace it with your more expensive item like a wooden stone or adobe wall. Yeah, let's just not get too close. There we go. So one other thing is, um, because I want to make it a circular base, I'll show you here, but when you build <coughs> a wood pillar, the wood pillar snap. You guys all know that. When you do it out here and anywhere, you could put it anywhere you want. 
Um, but when it is next to a wall, here's blocked, but it's some place that you could um, put it potentially, but of course it's blocked by this metal thing here. Uh, blocked, 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 and of course here in front, it's actually a place that can go through and clip through the wall. So that's where I want to place it. Um, now I'm going to put three more walls. So of course I want it to um, be close enough so that when I build the structures, I will not leave a gap between it. Um, but I am not going to let it snap because when you make it snap, it's either a um, 45 degree or 90 degree, right? It's either straight 45 or 90. And what I want to do is a lot more circular than that. So again, um, when you place items in arc, it's also directional. So to make things simple, I'm going to face the same direction that I was facing when I placed that one to put when I place this one as well. Sometimes it's hard because the ground is higher. As you can see, you cannot see what's behind me. So you just get a feeling of it, right? So that is um, as far back from the center of my body as it is to the front, pretty much. Um, so you just got to get used to how much or how far and how close to get it. And if you happen to overlap, you overlap. If my circle is not perfectly round, then it's not perfectly round, right? It's fine. And I'm going to build one more. So these walls that I'm building here are actually temporary walls and they will be removed once I have uh, the pillars in place. The pillars are, is what will actually build um, the room. So I am going to do a pillar. When you place pillars, again, because of way it snaps, if you put it here, because I have three walls and I have a pillar here, it will snap to a different pillar as well as an existing wall. So when you do it, you can see that here, snap one, snap two, snap three, right? Make sure you are snapping to the wall that is in front of it, if you want to make the circular feel. So that one there, and this one here. Not that one, not that one, this one. Okay, so if I were able to fly at this point, you can see that these pillars are actually in a circular motion, a circular alignment. Uh, these walls I'm going to leave right here for now. Until I'm ready to put up all adobe, adobe walls, uh, I'm going to leave that be. And what I need that I did not craft was thatch ceilings. With thatch roofs, thatch and fiber. Let's hope I have some left over. Uh, I will have some after taking down that base, I suppose. I should have checked that. I'm a few fibers short. <laughs> but what I will do. Is steal some fiber. Okay. Alright, so again, when you place, you have to make sure you are not snapping to the wrong place. So you could potentially snap to the wall, center wall, or on this side. Uh, but what I want to use is my pillar, and there you go, the top level right there. Now, when you build another wall next to it, be careful when you put it here, because it will say um, exactly that, right? It will say um, that it is being blocked. So, build this one here, at the top. And now the center. Okay. That's a line that snaps to that one, which I don't want to do. Is it because
because it's thatch. Let's try it. Let's see. So what I need to make is some wooden ceilings. And I need a lot more wood. Let's do it. Let's get more wood. Eventually I am going to build it out of clay, but for now. Just get this in place. I believe wood is one of the items that when you build, it does reduce the weight. So wood takes a certain amount of weight, um, but the ceiling after the components are used up weigh less than the actual components itself. Um, I know, I, I'm pretty sure that it is that way for stone. from bangles it's kind of cool how you could craft on your dinos it's strange but it's kind of cool one more wood all right let's give that a shot all right so again this level uh, has the pillar protruding out, but you could build it up above And that's where you want it Hmm I don't know if I like that I don't know if I like that at all It faced one one way and one the green is going the other way well, let's get this going. We can always work on that later. There we go. So for some reason, thatch is not working. Okay, so let's see. So, as you can see, the um, it's not perfect because it all depends on where the pillar landed, which all depends on where um, this landed. The pillar will snap to the wall, uh, which will snap to these. But for now, let's see if I can get up there. I can't get up there. Almost. Did I mess that one up? I thought I built it on the top, but perhaps I did not. Well. can't have that. As you guys can see, being inside here actually does protect you from the storm. Uh, but I need to figure out... What happened to the ceiling, because that's just going to bug me. That's going to bug me forever. Well, either way, that is just one segment. So let me show you the next part. So what you do is you build these this segment first. And I may have built it too far out because I can't close this wall as you saw. 
Yeah, I can't close that wall. So what I'm going to try to do this time around is I'm going to build it a little bit further out so I can hopefully close that wall. But enough that I can actually make a wall to begin with. The gateways, the dinosaur gateways you place last uh, because you, the dinosaur gateways are very forgiving. The way the ARC developers made it, dinosaur gateways themselves can clip into other pieces. Um, so after you make two segments, place the dinosaur gateway last and that will close the gaps between your uh, two segments and not leave any openings. to be the top. There's the bottom. That's the top. Interesting. And it looks like I could do that. Hmm. Perhaps I did build the lower one. That's interesting. However, on that one, it does not seem like I could raise it. Either way, I'm going to leave that be for now. For now, for now, I need some more of my fence foundations back. Here we go. Alright, let's see if this one blocked it off. It did not. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, so I need to actually move this, shift this whole thing down one. Um, but for the sake of showing you guys what I'm doing here, I'm not actually going to put the doorway there. Let's put this back. Let me just put the gate down. So here, you will have... Do I have enough to make a wall? I do not. So I would need to do a lot more gathering, but um, once you're done with the two segments here. I am going to look down again, facing this way. Uh, actually facing this way. Press K. And you see this gate? Goes right in between. And you just line it up to 
where it pretty much however you want it you can make it go uh, go out at each segment and that'll still look fine I might actually do that <clears throat> and then you build a gate and then you have gates at every doorway uh, you have entrances and exits for your dinos and you will have your circular base I'm going to um, destroy the section on the right so I can move it over just so I can have um, the ability to close this section here because I don't like the fact that I can't What the? Totally incorrect. That looks right? No. That looks wrong. That looks right? That looks right? That looks right? But higher? a bit low but that looks right you could tell when you run around the outside you could tell that it snapped to the uh, the pillar and not to the wall next to it um, yeah I'll show you the complete bit when I'm done but for now let me just create one complete section where'd my gate go that's that's strange. My gate disappeared. Did I put it back? Possible. Very possible. Are you guys at the uh, edge of your seats? This is uh, some exciting stuff right here. Yeah, I think I like the way that looks. You know, let's bulge it out a little bit. Make some extra room. Any extra real estate is positive real estate, right? As long as the uh, the walls, because we can be going up from here, as long as the walls on the outside are not going to look funny. Let's do that. And I just moved it. way off. That's extremely off. Eh. It'll do. It's just one gate out of many and then, you know, worst comes to worst, we can redo it. But the reason why I say it's off is because there, as you can see, there's five um, 
kind of like five five planks, sorry, five trunks, five tree whatever limbs that make uh, the width of this, and this one only goes in one. Uh, whereas here, I have it going in about one and a half. So, anyhow. Um, I don't really want to waste these if I, in case I need to take them down, but pretty much that is going to be, um, that's going to be the build, guys. All the way around, I'm going to have doors and windows, so, um, doors will go down this way, the windows on the side, and that's pretty much it. Now I just need to collect more stuff and get it built. I will have a second part to this where I will actually finish it in Adobe, Adobe, <laughs> and... Uh, hopefully have my ramps and everything else complete and I'll have a safe place for the dinos. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Please come back and watch the next episode. Uh, subscribe if you would like to. Hit the like button because I would like you to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, come back. Thanks guys.